It's all signs that the vaccine is near and could happen in less than two weeks when the FDA meets to consider Pfizer's candidate. But many of you still have some questions about how safe the vaccines are going to actually be, what the side effects could actually look like. So 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow asks a virologist to clear up the most common point of confusion. Let's get right to it. The biggest question doctors get, will this vaccine give me COVID-19? We took this straight to Dr. Michael Tang. He's a virologist, associate professor, and associate dean at the USF College of Medicine. This vaccine is totally dead. It doesn't cause infection at all. You're not infected. We verified this statement with the CDC. It says, quote, none of the COVID-19 vaccines currently in development in the United States use the live virus that causes COVID-19, end quote. Next up, will this vaccine make me sick when I take it? The initial uh, side effect from the vaccine in the first shot is just local soreness at the point of uh, injection. After the second shot, though, you tend to get a little bit more side effects. This is actually because your immune system is ramping up. Some people had slight fevers, chills, headache, or fatigue for several days, but doctors say these were mostly mild to moderate symptoms that go away and are not signs you have COVID-19. And for those still skeptical, there will be time to see how it all works. We're gonna have about anywhere from 10 to 20 million people early on that, that will receive the vaccine. And people will be able to observe how they're responding to it and how safe it will be for them. And what about masks and social distancing? Can you be a little more lax since vaccines report more than 90% efficacy? That doesn't mean 100%. That means 5 to 10% of the people will not be protected by the vaccine. So don't risk it. The things we've been doing to stay safe will still be necessary until most people get the vaccine. And doctors say some people express concerns about coronavirus mutations making the vaccine less effective. However, Dr. Tang says mutations aren't likely to impact the vaccine because of the way the antibodies work to neutralize the virus.